Hi, Patrick Parshala. The basic idea is we introduce some shortcut methods, some concepts of solving con questions that will help you solve things faster. So helps in any aptitude examination where con mathematics is involved. So let's like look at it. And what you need to do is understand the concept and start applying in different places. That's where you'll benefit. First questions. I mean, 21 equal. Whenever you have big numbers like this, 21, 21, always take a smaller aspect and then work on it. For example, if you look at 21 lines from 1 and then 20 more lines, 1 and 30 more lines, if you look at it. Okay. Or let's say x axis 20 lines and y axis 30 lines. So, shortest one version I can take is 1 and 2 more lines I can take. Okay. And uh, 1 and 3 more lines. Equations. And I need to go from one corner to the opposite corner like this. So how many points will you need? First point is anyway there. Then one, two, three, and four. I meet the lines in four points. Right? If I take the smallest version of two and three, I mean first line I'm taking common, then I'm adding three lines and two lines. If I draw a line properly, you will see they'll meet at four points. If I take 30 and 20, it will be 10 times. They meet at 40 points. I have not included a first point. So that you have to add 1, the answer will be 41. So whenever you have big numbers, take smaller versions of it and work on those. So since after printing the first lines, I have 30 lines and 20 lines extra. So I put 2 lines and 3 lines extra. And see, the line that is goes from one corner to the opposite corner, how many points they intersect. You will realize they intersect at 4 points, ignoring the first point. Even further if I go again, if I ignore this, this point is already counted. So four more points, four more points and so on, 10 times. Because I have to add 20 points and 30 points. So total 40 points and then the initial one point, 41. It's actually a simple sum, but I wanted to introduce a simple technique which is there. So around the average total is zero. So when you say average is 26, right? And six people are minus two. Twenty-four is minus two. Remember, twenty-four is minus two. That means six people total is minus twelve. So last person has to be plus twelve. So it automatically becomes thirty-eight. Twenty-six plus two, twelve, thirty-eight. That's the answer. You can do it by simple average concept, but there is a way to solve a lot of sums quickly in averages, where you assume that where around the average total is zero. So six people are minus two. That is, they are minus twelve totally. Last person has to be plus 12. 26 plus 12 will give you 38 years. Triangle. One way in geometry, some other sums also, but specifically in geometry, if you can assume things, okay, uh, simple assume things, you get the answer. Now, if I look at triangle ABC, a perpendicular drop. So, I say draw a perpendicular. And if you look at AD upon BD equal to DC upon AD, I am taking this as 1 for the convenience. So we look at A, B, C, D. It basically means DC equal to AD, BC equal to AD and AD equal to BD. All three are equal. Now what does it represent? If you look at this represents a circle with BC as a diameter. So angle A will be 90 degree. You can directly mark 90 degree. So I am satisfied all constraints. There is nothing in the sum I have taken which doesn't, which is counter the constraint. So here AD upon BD equal to DC upon AD I have taken as 1. I have used that. Okay. Apart from that, uh, I have solved it. I realize that it becomes a right angle triangle. And the circle, these three become the radius. So automatically diameter subtends the right angle at any point in the circle. You get angle A as 90. This is also a property of three right angle triangles if you know it. I mean, AD upon BD equal to DC upon AD. From that also you can make out angle A is 90. Quadratic equation. Technically the sum is actually not purely quadratic equation. You can make any numbers. Sum of roots is equal to product of roots. So you can make out 2 plus 2 equal to 2 into 2. Sum of roots are 2 and 2. The sum of roots is equal to product of roots. Sum of the radial reciprocals, half plus half, you get one B option. Okay, sum of roots is product of roots. You can take any numbers that satisfy. Remember, there is no option called cannot be determined. 
So automatically I can take any number, whatever answer I get, I can mark that as the answer. 2 and 2 satisfies. So reciprocal sum, half plus half will give you 1. Longer sum, but let us look at it. A gave B a head start of 200 seconds. So A, when it runs, B already is 200 seconds high. Okay, and um, C gave A, so when C starts, C gave A a head start of 300 seconds. Right, this is seconds time, remember. A O took B at a 300 meters, so at 300 meters distance total. A and B are together. Similarly, C O took A at 400 meters. That means C and A are together at 400 meters. This meters, the meters. What is given is ratio of the speeds of A and C. Which means when A runs 1, C runs 4. A runs 1, C runs 4. Which means in the 400 meters, when C runs 400 meters, if I start with C, when C runs 400 meters, so, A would have run 100 meters, which means C would have given head start of 300 meters to A, which it covers in 300 seconds. The speed of A is 300 meters upon 300 seconds, which is 1 meter per second. Right? When C runs 400, A runs 100, which means A is already ahead of C by 300 meters when C starts running, which it covers in, A covers in 300 seconds. So, you get speed of A. Similarly, if you look at B, okay, when uh, they meet at uh, 300 meters, so A will take 300 seconds to cover this. Remember, A takes 300 seconds to cover this whole thing. Okay, and he already gave B a head start of 200 seconds, and B then ran 300 seconds further because after giving 200 seconds, B must have ran 300 seconds, and then they must have met. So, B took 500 seconds to run 300 meters. So, you can take, uh, so B speed, speed of B is equal to 300 meters for 500 seconds. You get 3 upon 5 meters per second. So, if I just take speed of A and speed of B, okay, it is anywhere 1 is to 3 by 5, it comes to 5 is to 3. There is only one option 5 is to 3 B option. Actually, you could have taken that A and C ratio is 1 is to 4, but all the options have A and C ratio 1 is, 1 is to 4, but you can't eliminate with that. So, we take A and B and try to find out, we get a ratio 5 to 3, that will be the answer. Thank you. Meet you again next week.